nothing without you. <laughs> you it is in you we live, we have our being. And because of you, we can face tomorrow. Because of you, all fears is gone. Father, we are grateful. 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 Somebody say, I am grateful. I am grateful. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Can you not give me two, three minutes standing? I am here to tell you that God's grace is all what you need. Thank you. Hmm. When God's grace enters your life, oh, number one, you will be able to make heaven. Amen. Your priority must be, it doesn't matter how long we are. If you don't make him, you are the most mystery. Sure. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus is coming. If you study open level devotion, we are learning about seven seal. We are on the fourth seal today. If you don't have the contact, I can give any. After Jesus Christ, after the rapture has taken place, when the Antichrist and the mark of 666 is going to be terrible than COVID 19. <laughs> there will be calamity all over the world that there's no system of the world that can overcome it oh, and come the mark of may you never live during that time Amen. now you are coming to church by then the church is closed the dispensation of grace is closed but believe we are in the time of grace what did I say? We are, in the time of grace. Now, we are going to pray and we got to this afternoon the Lord asked me to tell you something that grace of God is sufficient for you. Amen. Number one for you to make him. Somebody say grace is what? Grace Can you let us see it please? It's at least said unto me, the same thing I'm saying unto you. The Lord has become many of you are going through a lot of stuff in your life. You are going through a lot of stuff that will bow your hell down. You are going through a lot of stuff that is asking where is your God. Some of us, I met one of my brothers, he said, Pastor, I've lost everything. It weakens me, it wearies me. He said, Pastor, you don't see me. I've lost everything. I went to the office, I nearly cried. But I mean, God asked me to tell you. He said, he, he said my grace is what? Grace is merited. The unmerited grace is the salvation grace. The Bible says the grace of the Lord has appeared to all men. men. Is all men saved? Mm. Uh, is all men saved? No. But those of us that we are saved, this grace has write your name in the book of life. Amen. <laughs> That's why you must be careful. That is why we come to church. <laughs> we don't come to church because of money. All believers who can get people do ritual, they make money. Am I talking? talking? Why do we have fellowship with Jesus? Because he's coming back. The grace of God, write your name in the book of life, and the grace of God help your mind to be transformed. Mm. The grace of God transform your mind and give you the mind of Christ. They say, For my strength is made perfect. What is your weakness? After your name has written in the book of heaven, that is the ultimate goal, but it is not all goal. Financial weakness, the grace is sufficient. Amen. Mental sickness, grace is sufficient. Amen. Many of us, our mind is not yet transformed to the level that you can begin to think, to, to think in a way that you can have access to the grace. You know, there are some amount of mental transformation, mind transformation that believers need to get the secret code to certain grace. Grace of God is not cheap. Thank you. <laughs> the Bible says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. When I look at the Bible, like they've been thinking, in the same in the same second Corinthians, the Bible said the Lord bring light out of darkness. In the book of Second Corinthians 4 6. I love what he said. He said, I brought light, light. out of darkness. Mm. It's not that he said the light come into darkness. He said, For God who commanded the light. We are talking about dealing with your weakness. We want to bring all those weakness to God. And your mind must be trans. You know, every one of us, you know, Adam is a symbol of rebellion. Mm. 
And every one of us, it is easy for us to operate in Adamic nature than any other nature. Actually, our real nature is the fallen nature. <laughs> so that's why you see people in the church, and when they behave some kind, you think, I, say, ah, I think these people are holy. It's because that person is not yet transformed. I'm praying tonight or this afternoon that the light of God will shine. The Bible says, For God who commanded the light. That life will be commanded into every of every situation in your life. It will be commanded to your mind, to your soul, to your spirit, to your body, to your finances. That even when you are alone, you are thinking. The light will come out of everything. He said, He commanded the light to shine out of. Hey, that one is great. I believe that the light shine unto darkness is understandable. It is now out of darkness. Light shine. scientifically they will tell you it's not possible that if something is dark, it means it's dark. It, it doesn't matter your situation. Thank you. Out of that situation, light will shine for you. I said light will shine for them. I said light will shine for them. Solutions will come, joy will come, peace will come, up will come. Somebody say grace is sufficient. I love God. When the Bible says God commanded the light, that, that is the bottom we are shining. We are going to pray. You want God to command light out of your darkness. Thank you. You know why people, God has never brought it with out. Sit down for one minute. God has never brought them out so that they can die in the wilderness. That's never been the plan of God. The plan of God is that we pass through the valley of the shadow of the wilderness. They, they can be afraid that God say we stay with them. It has never been. It is the plan of God, just as He shine forth in the Red Sea, to shine forth to take them to where they're supposed to be. But they did not understand. Somebody said, God, grant me understanding. God, grant me understanding. He said, for God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, I'll shine in our heart. May your heart never be darkened. <laughs> May your heart never be darkened. Amen. Every cloud of darkness, every cloud of ignorance that has come that you believe when you come to church, you are doing a pastor a favor. What a cloud. <laughs> what a cloud of what? Thank you. Now you believe if they don't see me, they will come in. If, if, if I will come, hey, who tells you? Pastor himself or herself come to receive favor from God. Before God, we are holy. When the light of the Lord shines out of your darkness, you begin to have a mental transformation. You will use your problem to become the next level. That's why you will not copy others to do what you're supposed to do. The Bible, how does the light shine into darkness? The normal food, the Matthew 4, for don't go there. Jesus Christ says, we will, he says, a man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of who? God. It means man has two means of sustenance. If you are a man born of a woman, you have what? Your first means of sustenance is what? Bread. And this bread got from the stomach, to, from the mouth to the stomach. Somebody say mouth to the stomach. Mouth to the stomach. It's for physical sustenance. He said, he said, man shall not survive by bread alone, but by every word. It means every one of us, for the light of God to shine upon your life, for God to bring light out of your darkness, you must not only live by bread, you must only also live by what? By the word. By the word, with the word come to your mind, then to your spirit. Your spirit receive the word, conceive the word, think about the word, and then you just like the mouth receive the food and go to the stomach. There's a digestion, say, digestive system to transform, to give you strength and power. The same thing, the word of God enter you. That's why when you are in the church, you must listen. What did I say? You must, you must avoid this attraction. You must concentrate. Your mind is your mouth. It's your mouth that you use to receive the word. That's why the Bible says the word of God is a light to your heart. The Bible says the word of God is a sword. So it's a two-edged sword. You know how where it goes. It enters your mind. It's your mouth. When your mouth receives it, your mouth has received now that God will command light 
out of your darkness. You have the right when you get up to begin to look at every darkness and say, let there be light. Like in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, we saw how God did the same thing. He commanded light to shine in a formless, in a shapeless, in a hopeless situation. And, and it happened. Jesus Christ, when there was a storm, he said, let this storm be silent. And people say, what manner of man is Jesus? People of God, he says, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory. That's why Satan did not allow you to come to Bible study. You know that the more, the more your mind come and eat, hello? And the more your spirit, your spirit is your womb. You begin to digest it. You, be, you begin to deal with things in your life. You begin to realize how ignorant you are. And you begin to say, God, take control of my life. And you begin to command light out of darkness. Satan so knows that he's, he, he's, 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 he's ever he's in the job pardon in your life. The Bible says to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Amen. Let's stand up. We want to command the light. We want to do what? Because grace of God is sufficient. Then grace of God for you to make a good sufficient. For you to corrupt a good character. Somebody says sufficient. You do know that the only part of you that you must work with is your character and your mind. So, so you are going to decree, you are going to say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Now I need you to pray. That's why the word is a little bit short. So that we can pray. So that we can do what? Arakakababo, begin to speak in Holy Ghost before we enter. Speak in Holy Ghost. As we enter the prayer, we cover our spirit. We cover, we cover your spirit, your soul with the blood of Jesus. I want you to speak in Holy Ghost. We have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Fire. Oh, if we want to pray, we are going to one more minute, 21. I, I receive from God 21 prayer points. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You are going to decree. Say with me, powers. Powers. Sponsoring weakness in my life. Sponsoring weakness in my life. Powers. Powers. Sponsoring problem in my life. Sponsoring problem. As I am praying now. As I pray now. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to consume them. Begin to consume them. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Troubles in my life, sponsoring it in place of the enemy. I pray to the Lord, oh God, be destroyed by the blood, 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 the Bible says you should love your neighbor as yourself. So you are going to pray for yourself first. And as you are praying, you are going to decree. The Bible says, For my grace is sufficient for you. Yes, Lord. We are going to say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let your grace be sufficient for me. Let your grace be sufficient for me. Let your grace register my name in the book of life. Let your grace register my name in the book of life. And let your grace maintain my name in the book of life. Let your grace maintain my name in the book of life. Why is three times as you begin to pray? Jesus' name. 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 Let your grace, 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 let your
Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 Fire. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. You are going to decree. Power. 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 Assigned to lead me to hell. Assigned to lead me to hell. Power. Power. Assigned to make me to hate my joy. Die by fire. In another one, I'm hearing with God saying, with Powers. Power. Contending with my salvation. Contending with my salvation. Shall want me to hate my race on earth in hell fire. Power that wants with my. Power that wants me to hate my race in hell fire. Power that wants me to hate my race in hell fire. Hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the voice of the Lord. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Oh, oh, my life. Oh, We are prayed to the prayer. Open your eyes. I see some of you, you are not yet serious. We will soon get to the spiritual warfare. Guess what? There are two categories of people in the church. Mm. We have the Bible call them virgins. Show us five virgins in the Bible. Two, two categories. Is it that you are wise virgin or you are the other wise? Listen, is it that you are a wise virgin or you are a foolish? <laughs> you can be a bishop, archbishop, yes. the most eloquent, the most greatest preacher. You can be whatever you and I are doing in the kingdom. Jesus Christ in his parable, as he was mentoring his disciples, he categorized all the believers into two categories. He made the call us virgin because we are all bride of Christ. Yes, Lord. In the realm of the spirit, we are all like angels. So, and then because we are angels of Christ, God has not, he has called us virgin. And, and this virgin is either you are wise or you are what? <laughs> Do you know that as it is in the days of Jesus? So it is. The, what is the difference between the wise one? They are all waiting for the, for the master to come. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be lacking unto ten virgin. The kingdom of heaven or not is the church. So, then, then shall church be lacking unto ten virgins. Which took their lamb? Your lamp is your Bible. Okay. The word of God. The word of God is our life. Lamb is our direction. Stop seeking direction from YouTube, from Google. Come first to the Bible. Yes. So your lamb. And we went forth to meet the bridegroom. Do you know that every time you come to church, every step of praying, every step of service, yes, in the kingdom of God, you are waiting for the bridegroom. Mm. He said, I am coming quickly. He said, my reward is with me. God is the rewarder. He's the recorder and the rewarder of human service. We are all waiting for the bridegroom. And five of them were wives. And five were fully. You are going to say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Every instrument of foolishness in my life. Every instrument of foolishness in my life. Every instrument of foolishness in my life. Every instrument. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Consume them. Consume them. Every instrument of calamity in my life. Every instrument of calamity in my life. Every instrument of foolishness in my life. Every instrument of fire of God. Fire of God. Consume them. Lift God your voice as you begin. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every instrument of the enemy. Every instrument. Of the enemy in my life, sponsoring downfall, sponsoring sicknesses, sponsoring diseases, be destroyed by the blood in the name of Jesus. Make a tire delivery in my family, in the life of my children, be consumed by the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a tire delivery in my life, in my 
What makes one to be foolish? What makes one to be wise? The next verse says, The wise one went, they took extra oil. They that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. And then, but the wise took oil in their vessels with the lamb. So you are going to pray, what is the oil? What is the lamb? The lamp is the word of God. And you know the oil? Holy Spirit. The Bible says, if you are not led by the Spirit, you are not, you are not belongs to him. Can I ask, is everybody a fool of the Spirit? Because the difference is this. The wise, they have the oil and they have the, they have the lamp. But the foolish ones, they can also quote Bible. They are the ones that study Bible so that they want to preach. They study Bible to prove point to people. They study Bible to let them know me, I, I, I know Bible. They will tell you from Genesis to Revelation. But before God, they are foolish ones. The foolish ones, they don't go extra. They, they, they don't have extra mind. They are the ones paid tight. They are finding difficult. So they have the lamp. They know the word. But they cannot do what God expects them to do. They argue about every spiritual matters. That if they pay today, next week they cannot. You are going to pray. When you say those that are foolish, the, the oil is that power of God that helps us to do the right thing at the right time. Thank you. The oil is that power of God that helps us to be active in the, in the kingdom. If you are passive, you are not yet having the oil. When you add the oil of God, the, 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 the seed of the Lord's house consume you. Yes, Lord. You want to know how everything is done. You want to know what are the parts you need to when you are when you are active Caramba, you are the type that you want to you want God to record your your your, your work or not that will give you you want to say Lord Jesus Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus I need your oil I need your oil 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 oil, oil, oil. it's a divine oil. enablement in our generation we call it anointing and nothing make it easy for me to go to the toilet and wash and clean and successfully, I am happy doing it. Have you done it going to three months before brother Ade now fight and to cry? And not to make you to serve God easily. Yes, and not to help you to pray. And not, you know, it helped me to intercede. Mm. And not, I can stand praying for four hours and use three and a half hours to intercede for the people. And then I know that what we want to intercede for others, God make it happen for you. In Jesus' name. So you are going to pray. You are going to say, I need the, I need the oil. I need the oil. As for the lamp, we all have the Bible. Both wise, both foolish, they have the Bible. They are telling this. When you come to church during the week, you realize we have many, 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 many foolish. Foolish won't run after money than God. Mercy At the Lord. end of the day, they, they, they will know that they are really fool. Ah, I want, I want to cater. They cater, they ignore spiritual matters. The matters. They cater for what will we hear, what will we live. We are going to say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I cry unto you. I cry unto you. Release your spirit. Release your spirit. Release your oil. Release your In oil. A greater dimension. Greater dimension. I want you to say it as you mean it. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Release your spirit. Release your spirit. Release your oil. Release your oil. Release your power. Release your power. Into my life. Into my spirit. My spirit. this of three time I begin to pray. Jesus name, in Jesus, Jesus name, in Jesus name, Jesus name. Jesus name. I pray for the release of your oil, release of your anointing, release of your power into my spirit in the name of Jesus. Release it, let it be released upon your people, let it be released upon my life, let it be released upon the ministry, let it be released, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release of God. 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 Over the life of your people. Jesus, when we are praying, Amen, Amen, Amen. Say we mean loud and clear. Every household wickedness, every household wickedness, struggling to rearrange my destiny, struggling to rearrange my destiny. Father and die, Father and die, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus.
Jesus' name, in 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 Jesus' name, in
the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in, Jesus name, in this finger, pointing at my brothers here, I command the Holy Ghost fire. Cut them off in the name of Jesus. So cut them off in the name of Jesus. They can tell us that they can tell us that they can in Jesus' name we are praying. Are you commanding? As are you commanding? You are going to say, I command to the life of my partner. Every good thing, every season, every opportunity that he or she has lost since the day he or she was born, I command it to be restored. To be restored. Come to the three time and begin to command no restoration over the life of your partner. Everything that the enemy has stolen, be restored, be restored. Whatever the locals and the canker ones have eaten, we pray for restoration, we pray for restoration, we pray for restoration over the life of my brothers here, over the congregation. Let there be a restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let the Pazoka Jacapa. Let the Pazoka Jacapa. Let the your partner and you pray Amen. so you are going to decay say i command in the name of jesus, I command in the name of jesus. Oh. 
I command in the name of Jesus. You destiny swallowers. For me, destiny of my partner. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice as you begin to pray for your partner. Exodus 14 14. Yes. The Bible says, God will fight for you. Mm. Yeah. You are going to lift up your hands to God and you are going to say, My father, my father, my father my take father. over my battle. Yeah. You know my weakness. Yeah. You know my pain. Yeah. You know my weeping. Yeah. My father, my father, my father, yeah. take over my battle. Take fight my for me. Fight for me. Glorify yeah. yourself yeah. in my life. Yeah. God is a three time as you begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I'm hearing three tears as you are praying straight for your hands towards the altar. People at the altar, we are only speaking in the Holy Ghost. You are going to the every dream tea. Every dream tea. Otherwise, everything I have lost in the dream. Today, in the name of Jesus, Today, I take them back. I take it back. And there are people stop with you are here. You are they run after you the dream and they think what belongs to you. Then you are here to take back. And make sure you don't stop praying until you receive it. Say, my father, my father, my father. My father, my father. Everything the enemy that stood in my life. In my dream. Restore them back to me. Thank you for three times as you begin to pray for yourself. Father, in Jesus' name. <laughs> In Jesus' name we are praying. Finally, I mean finally, the Dama Katoba. You are going to decree right now. Yes. Oh. I'm here because I should tell the church, learn to build an altar for yourself daily. What did I say? I saw different, different strange altars. Different strange altars. Learn to, many of you, the altar fighting you is older than you. That is why the more you pray, the more attack. <laughs> because as a small child, even when you are in the womb, the mama has carried you and be and be bowed down before that altar. Guess what? That child in the womb and the mama is already doing incantation before the altar. That child is already covenanted. And now you are saying, I am born again. Then you must pray. You are going to decree. I'm going to leave you while to pray. You are going to decree. Every satanic altar. Every household altar. That is crying against my destiny. Oh God, deliver my destiny. Rescue my destiny. 
rescue my destiny. <laughs> Some are saying that my father prayed, my mother prayed. What of your grandmother? Your, your year does not start the day you are born. It starts from third generation. <laughs> so you are going to decree. My father, my father, my father. Every wicked altar, every household altar in my background that is crying against me. Oh God, blood of Jesus, rescue me, deliver me, and let the altar of Jesus begin to speak for me. So when you begin to pray, at the end of the prayer, we ask every one of you, you must quickly come and drop the seed. When you are dropping the seed, including me, drop it on the altar. It's going to be altar against altar. What did I say? Altar against altar. Against altar. Are we ready to pray? Are we ready to pray? Yes. You are going, and some of you, you know the name of the altar, your mom or your dad, sir. Mention that name. Mention what? You can mention that name of that altar, and you say you discord, you disconnect yourself, and you begin to raise the altar of Jesus to begin to work for you. Let's go at this three times as we begin to pray. Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every altar is of wickedness. Let every altar of wickedness. Let every altar of polygamy. Let every altar of backwardness, let every altar that scatters be destroyed. Let the Kabatoro Baba Katarada, the Kabarato Korababa, Rato Korababa, Rabba Kabara, let the altar of Jesus, let the altar in the blood of Jesus begin to speak live. Let the altar of Jesus begin to speak live, 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 live. Take a seat in your hand. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. If you don't have a seat, take your faith with you. You may if not by fall. You are going to decree. As I'm praying right now, you will be saying amen. You can choose to say one amen. You can choose to say three amen. You can choose to say seven amen. I speak in the name that above everybody. And as the prayer is going, they really say, I lay down my seed on the altar. And the altar is a place of sacrifice. It doesn't matter. If that altar had been before you are born, in the beginning was the altar of Jesus. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And God was the word. Are you ready? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to the life of my brother and sister. And I stand on the altar of Jesus Christ. The altar that cannot fail. Yes. The altar that has shed his blood to deliver us from the cause of the law. Amen. Therefore, I counterattack. Any altars in your foundation? Amen. Polygamous altars. Amen. Altar that sponsors sickness, regular stick sickness, irregular sickness, altar that is fighting prayer, altar that is causing devotion, altar that is causing failure. Father, I speak. What we call divine release from any altar that your ancestor has covenant to consciously or not consciously receive freedom in the name of Jesus. From today, may the altar in the blood of Jesus. This one, you remember you died on the cross. And by, 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 by the virtues of your dead, you have given on the, the blood of Jesus. And you say by the blood of Jesus, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, I decree upon the life of my brother and my sister, from any altar in your foundation, 
from your parents now. Amen. From your grandparents. Amen. From your great grandparents. Let the fire of the Lord consume the altar in the name of Jesus. Every altar that has been sponsoring hatred. Every altar that is trying uh, that is that is chasing away helpers. Every order that is open the door of your life to serve them at that, let that order be disappointed in the name of Jesus. I activate and I raise order of favor. Order of favor. Order of mercy. Order of joy. Order of peace. Order of next level for your life. For your destiny. For your life. For your destiny. For your life. For your destiny. So shall it be. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's drop our seed on the altar. Drop your seed on the altar and begin to appreciate Jesus for the answers prayer. Appreciate Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we celebrate you. Let it be dropped on the altar. It's between you and God. We call it a battle seat to fight your battle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name. We are giving it to God, not to man. We cannot pay for the work of salvation. But Father, we are making a covenant with you. Therefore, we stand and we believe and we appreciate that we are free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.